I'm very, very pleased to have here at QIMR Burkhofer Medical Research Institute a very important visitor today. That's Professor Harl Zurhausen, uh, who's come here from Heidelberg in Germany. Professor Zurhausen was a Nobel Prize winner in 2008 for showing that human papillomavirus, HPV, uh, is the cause of cervical cancer. You get a Nobel Prize for many years of work with one major insight, and that was the insight that Harl brought to the field by showing the role of this virus. Um, people in Brisbane would be very aware of this virus and cervical cancer because uh, Ian Fraser, who is well known to many people, uh, was very involved and responsible for, for moving the discovery of the virus through to eventually uh, a vaccine which has been used widely. So I'd like to welcome you, Harold. It's great Thank to you see you much. here. It's an honor for us to have a Nobel Prize winner. And I'd also have to say an old friend uh, yes, of that's mine. True. But also what's less known, and I just learned this today, Harald Zurhausen came here 40 years ago. Do you want to say a little bit about that time? Well, yes, at that time I was invited by John Pope, the former director here, and uh, I stayed as a guest professor here for two weeks. A very enjoyable and interesting period, which I spent here. At that time we were both working on Epstein-Barr virus, and uh, indeed, uh, I remember that visit very vividly. That's, that's great because uh, amongst the people you'll meet uh, today are some who were around at that time. I'm thinking of Dennis Moss, who was uh, yes, in, in the he laboratory. Was I remember and he'll be, he'll yes. be at dinner this evening. Oh, so, I see. Oh, yeah. so, so there are things to look forward to. And the connections, therefore, with Brisbane are particularly strong. Um, it's a pity that uh, years have gone by since then, since you could come again, but it really is great that you're able to come this time. Would you, in just two words or a few words, go back to uh, the Nobel Prize? Am I right in my summary of why the Nobel Prize was awarded to you? Well, it's true. We worked for a long period of time on the uh, cause of cervical cancer because epidemiologically speaking, it was likely that an infectious agent was involved was, has been suspected basically since 1842 and but uh, for a long period of time a number of candidates popped up nobody proved to be no one proved to be correct and in the end of the 1960s the idea was prevalent that the herpes virus was a cause of this cancer we had worked for a long period of time on trying to find Epstein-Barr virus, a similar herpes virus in Burkitt's lymphomas and nasopharyngeal cancer, and developed a method to identify the virus in cells. Uh, yet, I thought it would be easy to prove that herpes simplex plays a role, but we didn't find it at all in any of the cancer biopsies which we analyzed. And even prior to that, I would found a review on the human papilloma virus and uh, in this review there were a couple of reports that gentle warts occasionally convert into malignant tumors and I thought maybe that's a good candidate for cervical cancer. So we started out really with the idea to isolate and characterize the gentle wart virus. It took us quite a number of years before we were able to do this but eventually we had it and hence the disappointment came because we didn't find it in cervical cancer but uh, due to the isolation of that agent and of a related virus, now both are labeled as HPV 6 and 11, uh, it was possible to find related ones and these turned out to be hits because it was 16 and 18. And so uh, from that point on things moved very smoothly. And so what year was it that you saw 16 and 18? Uh, it, well, we saw it in 1982 and uh, we published it in 83 and 80. Age 18 was found in 83 and published in 84. Was there a eureka moment? Do you, did you have that saying, hey, this is it? Well, I'm often asked whether it was a eureka moment, but uh, in a way, somehow, of course, we anticipated for quite a long time that something, yes. that we were on the right track. So we were pleased, of course, to find it eventually. But uh, I would rather say it was a consequence of a long period of hard work. Very good. Listen, thank you very much for, for your comments there. It's, it's great to hear them and have them 
such that we can share them with others. Um, it's delighted that you've come back to Brisbane and we look forward very much to hearing more from you on your thoughts about future viruses. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for the invitation.